favorite food of a lion? It's horse. The reason for them loving horse so much is it's very similar to zebra. They love zebra. <laughs> Happiness. Happiness is Megi. Megi, Megi, Megi. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Happy girl. Okay, she's seen something. She didn't want to go for a, just a stroll in the park. She wanted to go and do something active. And uh, yeah, clearly that stomach was rumbling and uh, she saw an opportunity and she took it. Go up, sweetie. Obviously my heart goes out to the, the poor little animal that lost its life, but um, it is nature, it's fair, fair chance, fair escape. And uh, you know, kudos to Meg for, for stalking and chasing and then bringing this, bringing this little guy down. So I'm just gonna head out and then I'm gonna call them and then you're gonna see the feeding frenzy of the amazing pulchards. I'll do, and then just spill a bit there. Why pilchards? And, uh, and why pilchards in tomato sauce? So, many, many, many years ago, there weren't all these predator supplements that we could give the animals. These are relatively new. In captivity, there was always the thinking process that ah, you must give them this nice, um, juicy, fresh muscle meat. What one fails to realize is that the muscle meat is lacking in so many of the vitamins and minerals. Um, and so they get these deficiencies. In the wild, what's the leopard going to eat? He's going to eat uh, pretty much the whole animal if he can, but he's certainly going to start with the uh, vitamin and nutrient rich uh, innards. Uh, liver, kidneys, um, you know, heart, lungs, all of that, they'll eat that. And, and nowadays we use the predator powder um, and all these other supplements. But back in the day, I found, uh, you know, obviously the uh, ingredients, um, you know, glycemic carbohydrates, which are here, it's got uh, a lot of the fats, omega-3 fatty acids, which we know are really, really good. Um, so it's got all of that in the pulchers. I, I don't bite the fingers. Hey. <laughs> Right, so the leopards sometimes um, can lock them up and then clean the enclosure and then hide their food in the trees and we call that scatter feeding. Um, that is just to allow them to go and work for their food a bit. You found that fair and square, my friend. That is incredible. That has blown my mind. Ooh. All right, so the guys are really um, excited about feeding. They're pacing up and down, <clears throat> getting, getting cheeky with each other. This is normal behavior. So they try and intimidate because they want um, the best for themselves. Ooh, that looks delicious. Mm. Yeah, you agree with me. And in they go. Mm. 
Fleisch. You've made short work of that. Mm -hmm. So the guys generally will eat a lot quicker when they will eat a lot quicker when they are together because um, obviously the chances of the other one getting their food is a lot higher. So they know that. So he, it's in his best interest to eat as quickly as he can. Okay. Who, who doesn't like hyenas? I mean, really, look at those little faces. I think a lot of the people out there have been asking, what, well, what do hyenas eat? What do you eat? So in captivity, we try and mimic a wild diet, but it's not always possible. So as, as much as possible, we give them whole carcasses because that is the best nutrition but the majority um, of the time these guys are having to get anything from pigs sheep cow even up to horse and then the fact that we do live in and around game reserves we do often get the call for for um, game impala kudu zebra Wildebeest, you name it. All right, so Meals on Wheels has arrived. Uber Eats, Uber Eats has arrived. You can see they know what that means because all those little faces are locked in on that man <laughs> and what he has. They don't really like him. It's just what he can do for them. Today is an auspicious day because um, the Miracle 8 are going to getting a full carcass for the very first time. It's what they're meant to eat, guys. I mean, let's face it, uh, these cheetahs are not meant to be eating chopped up meat with uh, vitamin supplements out of a bowl. They're meant to be eating full carcasses. That's it. Yeah, buddy. Chuck in there. That's it. Kill that dead impala. Kill him dead. Yeah. That's how you kill him. Tear his legs off. That's how you kill him. You just lie there and wait for him to die of old age. Eh? Is that your strategy? Are you waiting for your bowl of food? Yeah. Is this princess? I think it's a female. Yeah, this is princess poo face. As they get more and more used to full carcasses, I think they're going to forget about eating the face and they're going to realize that eating the innards uh, the liver, the heart, the lungs, etc., the intestines. These are the bits that are going to give them the most energy and nutrition and vitamins and minerals for the least amount of effort. And certainly when you're a wild cheetah, that's what you've got to do. 